guys, Blue here, welcome back to some more episodes of Sonic Lost World for the PC. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna be going into Windy Hill Zone 1, or is it? No, it's actually not, it's bob on Battlefield, and I have the Sonic R mod on, because why? Because the Sonic R mod seems to be the mod, that seems to be the model that kind of fits like Super Mario 64 style in a sort of way, because Mario is a very, very blocky dude, and the, and the Dreamcast Sonic... Um, he had better graphics than than Mario did in in uh in Mario 64. So I decided to go with the Sonic R model. But why? Because of the whole like pixely and all that stuff. But anyway, guys. So yes, Bob on Battlefield. So it's really cool to see that this mod's in. Oh man, you know what? I should actually turn off the music here. I'm gonna turn off that terrible music. I'm gonna edit and post and put in some good music. But anyway, so um. Yeah, guys, it's actually bob on Battlefield. So yeah, you get all the bombs in here. You get you get all the secret passages and all that. I think I think so. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we even have this. Let's see. Uh, yeah, basically everything. Ouch. Okay. Wow. <laughs> basically everything's here from the original. So that's pretty cool to see. Like, let's see all that. You get a, you can go over here. You get all of these like little ten ring things. Let's see, where else can we go? We can go over... Oh! There we go, this is where a star is supposed to be, but, you know, there are no stars in Sonic Lost World, so what am I, what am I supposed to do? And, uh... <clears throat> and, uh... Huh, I think that's a... Hold on, we gotta collect Super Sonic! Wait, gotta go up here, though. Ah, oh, come on! Ah, uh. oh, come on! There we go, okay. And yeah, there's no cannons in here, but there are red rings, so that's cool to see, you know. It's cool. Uh, and 50 rings, and yes, guys. Uh, Sonic R Sonic does have a super form, and it's Sonic R Super Sonic, so that's pretty cool. One thing I really do like about this mod is that it just, I don't know, it just fits so well. I don't know. I find it really cool. Although, one thing I would say about this mod is that, you know, I, I kind of wish that um, he changed his running animation, because in Sonic R, Sonic did actually... Um, Sonic didn't run in the, uh, like, the figure eight run. He actually ran, like, a really weird kind of jog, and, I mean, it was really weird, but, you know, I would have liked it if he, if he kept it like that. Okay, uh, I'm running out of rings, actually, and I, and I don't want to transform back, because I might not be able to transform into Super Sonic again, so... Here we go, we're just gonna go up here. We got this cannon thing over here. <laughs> and, uh... You get the oh okay so there's a there's another red ring I have no idea if there's actually five red okay you know what this running animation fits though like this this kind of reminds me more of the Sonic R jogging animation that you had in the actual game so I mean it would have been nice if you just replaced the full parkour animation oh uh, okay <laughs> if you replaced the full parkour animation with something like that that would have been cool. Yeah, I mean, there's not there's not really much going around in this stage. I mean, there's not really much you can do with this, really. Oh, oh, shoot, he, ju he jumped in with me, damn. Okay, but, I mean, you know, it's it's kind of an empty stage. You don't have, the, like, the giant boulders, like, rolling down the hills trying to destroy you. And Sonic's pretty fast in this stage, so you can beat it pretty easily. I mean, there we go, Windy Hill Zone 1 cleared. I actually did not know the um the goal was there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this stage again, because I didn't know it was gonna be there. I was I, I actually thought it was gonna be at the top of the mountain, so let's see. So yeah guys, we're back here again, you know, it's just it's just really fun to see, you know, Sonic running around in these kind of stages like super like Super Mario 64 and all that. You know, it's really cool. I think this kinda reminds me of a of a mod called like Sonic Ad Sonic Adventure 64 or whatever, and it's kinda like a weird like it's a weird Super Mario 64 hack with like Sonic and all that. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of that. I don't know. I don't know if any any of you guys know about it, but it's it's pretty cool. Might I might play it actually one of these days. I want to get into playing other mods as well than just like Sonic, than just Sonic Lost World and Sonic Generations. I'm planning that uh, hopefully after I cover a few more Lost World and Generations mods, I'm gonna go into probably um probably Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Adventure mods, and maybe Sonic Heroes. Might do that. Might do that. So I'm probably going to be doing that one of these days, but you know, for now it's just going to be Lost World and Generations, but I certainly do have plans to play other games than just that. Now we're going to turn Supersonic, there we go. 
Oh god, Supersonic is so fast, it's so hard to control, okay. Um, I'm just gonna jump over here, jump over to that island. Oh, damn it! Ah, oh, man. Oh well, that sucks. <laughs> Hmm, let's see. Can I park? Wait, I can just parkour up the mountain, can I? Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> wow. Okay. I uh, that could have been that could have been ended a whole lot a whole lot faster. Okay. Let's see. Was it? Oh, okay. There's nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here. Okay. Well, I see how it is. <laughs> um. Okay. Cool, I guess. Um, I mean, I mean, I guess it's really it for this stage. I mean, I can't think of anything else that you can really do. I mean, just oh shit. <laughs> Except that, I guess. Damn, we got a long fall. <laughs> Sonic, are you gonna? Okay, there. Sonic died. <laughs> Sonic actually did die. Okay, so now we're just gonna parkour up the mountain really quick and then just end this video, really. But I mean, I guess that's really it. It's just really cool to see Sonic running around in these kind of environments, you know, stuff that he doesn't really go around in. I I don't know why, but I've all, but Sonic um oh uh, blah, blah blah can't talk. I don't know why, but you know, Mario 64 has always been kind of like one of my favorite games, really. I'm not sure what it is about it, but something about it just seems better than Galaxy, better than Sunshine, just like it. You know what? I think I got it. I think I, I think I got it now. It's mainly the fact that it was mainly kind of more of an exploration game than just a typical Mario game. I feel like a lot of the Mario games now are a little bit too linear now. I really liked it back in the days of Super Mario 64. I mean, it's still I I've played that game. I wasn't born around that time, but I have played the game, and I just like how it's much more explorative of a game where you know you can just mess around and you know. You can get stars that you're not supposed to get in different stars. I, that's what I really like. I mean, you can do other stuff in the game than just the mission you are assigned. You know? That's what I like about it. Anyway, guys, that's basically it for this video. And, um... Yeah, if you like this video, be sure, to, be sure to leave a like, comment if you're new here, why not subscribe. Also, um, all the channel, all the content creators channel links will be in the description below and until next time see ya